Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with us with Costume Quest 2 on the PC. Last time, we went deeper into the swamp and managed to run into Dr. White, as well as Torsilla, who it doesn't seem to recognize us, probably because she's 15 to 20 years younger than when we first met her. And he stole the talisman from her so that he can uh, do more time stuff. So we gotta watch out for that. Let's just go ahead and get started again. By the way, uh, I'm showing you the loading screen here because on the save file menu here, we have a little bit of viewing for our costumes here. Now, I'm trying to guess what some of these are, and the only ones I can really guess are the one on the bottom left below the uh, star-shaped one. That looks like a banana or a hot dog. The one on the very left could be like a a ghost. I'm not sure what the spiky one above it could be. It could be like a some kind of star, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Then we got. I'm assuming the one with the the white mage staff. That's like a a witch or a wizard. And then there's also a witch or a wizard in the corner there. Now the one on the top right, right there. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. I highly doubt that's the case but uh, oh well. And then the one above the pterodactyl kind of looks like a Daniel Boone costume, but I have no idea. So apparently there are 11 costumes, but I'm guessing they're only counting 10 because I guess the, the candy corn doesn't doesn't really count. But then again, it is actually in the, the book, so I'm not really sure. But anyways, let's not worry about it too much. Hey, let's get to it. And yes, I did do a little bit of grinding off screen. Uh, just wanted to get some uh, candy in a level. Because over, over by Dorsilla and her parents, uh, the cronies just respawn infinitely. So that's pretty nice. They each give anywhere from 100 to 130 candy, and they each give 200 experience. And if you use the creepy treat card, that gives them double candy. Then though you get 200 candy or 260 candy from one battle. So it's up to you if you want to do it. I thought it's not a bad idea. I'm not gonna go completely out of the way to grind forever, but see if I can't get some other stuff over here. Let's see. I might hold off on the rainbow cloth here, simply for the fact that I want to see what the other costumes we get are and what the other upgrades are, especially if there's an upgrade for the pterodactyl later. Okay, let's go ahead and get sour dumps. That seems like it'd be really decent right there. Let's see. Next three attacks by any hero are automatically amazing, so that's pretty good. And also the all minions drain 25% health per turn. That's also pretty good. And might as well grab this one too, just to have it. Well, that actually cleared me out a lot faster than I realized. Okay, but there we go. We got all the creeper treat cards there. Let's go ahead and head back to the beginning of the bayou here and head back to Ren, or not Ren, um, Priscilla's house, or whatever whatever her name was, I forget. Everett. Everett and Lucy, there we go. I don't know why I thought Priscilla, but no well. So I think that's where our next destination is actually hanging out at. Might as well grab a couple candy pieces on the way there. I don't think they regenerated like that in the first game. Or if they did, I didn't remember it. Was there something over here that I thought we could do? No. Okay, just wanted to make sure. All right, Monty, you're gonna have to say goodbye to your gators for a little while here. The time hole is somewhere over here. Where did it go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what? I think when we took the clock from Chronoculus, we made it impossible for Everett to steal it from him in the future. Uh, oops. So, can't we just use it to open a new time hole? Hmm, maybe. Nope, I don't know how to work it. Does that mean y'all are trapped here? Cool, we can hang out more. No, it's not cool. We need to get home. I know. What are you doing? Oh yeah, that's genius. Why did I think of that? Hey Monty, I need you to do us a huge favor. Sure, what? I need, you to, I need you to remember where I buried this clock. Uh, do I look stupid? You just buried it in front of me. How could I forget? 
I mean, you have to remember for like 20 years. 20 years? Why? Because in 20 years, our friend Everett is going to live here. You need to tell him that this clock is buried under his house so we can get us out of here. Okay, Everett, 20 years, got it. Monty, you promised. What? I will. Promise. I won't forget. Sheesh. Hey, it worked. You did it. Thanks, Monty. You know, you could have just given it to Monty and told him, like, put it in his house or something. That would have been easier than, you know, like, burying it. Because then they have to, like, tear up the floor and stuff to get to it. I did? Well, I told you I would. I guess this is goodbye, Monty. Wait, he's not going to come with us? Thanks for everything, Monty. Wait, I thought he was going to come with us. Bye, guys. Do we get to keep the uh, clown costume at least? That's kind of screwy that Monty doesn't get to come with us. I was liking him. Hey, guys. We know you're able to stop the chronoculus. That was good. Dr. White won't be able to manipulate time anymore. But nothing here has changed. So he must have still stolen the talisman, huh? Yeah, sorry. He sicked his time wizard on, on us and stuck out. What are we going to do? Open another time hole to escape? We're not leaving without our daughter. You guys have a daughter? Costume violation. Costume violation. Guards, get this infernal thing out of here. Yes, Dr. White. I guess he's not a big fan of his so little uh, dental bots there. And bring me that clock. No, you will never use this again. And it's broke. Lucy, what did you do? We'll be stuck here forever. You should not have done that. Guards! Take these two away and throw the book at them. Throw a book at him? What book? Just put them in jail, you imbecile. Lucy! Everett! It looks like these two little lawbreakers need an education. Enroll them in the Tooth Academy at once. The Tooth Academy? Ow! Hey! Hey, get off me, you smelly grubbin! Those kids look familiar. Okay, human children, simmer down. Today we're going to review last night's reading lesson. After which we'll have a half hour break for recreational flossing. Say what now? Now, let's see who did their reading. Who can tell me about Halloween? Is it a hall where they keep weenies? No, Bert, it is not a hall where they keep... It's a fart! Hehehehe. <laughs> Duncan, no more outbursts from you. Hee <laughs> hee. What is Halloween? Anybody? I know you know this. Did none of you human children do your reading? Oh, I guess I have to raise my hand. Okay. I know. I thought it was just scripted right there. I didn't even notice. Okay, new kid. Remy, is it? Tell us about Halloween, please. Halloween is the best holiday ever. Everyone gets to wear awesome costumes and you get free candy. Wrong. Now I can see why you were sent to the Academy. You need some serious education. Can anyone tell Remy what Halloween really is? It was a night of evil where parents tricked kids into eating poison. Well done, Laird. You did your reading. You get a gold tooth. And thankfully, Grandfather White did away with the evils of Halloween long ago. Now, who can tell me about the ill effects of candy on humans? It makes your teeth fall out. Good. What else? It poisons your insides and makes you die. Bert, great comprehension. What else? Ooh, ooh, candy. I can wait all day. Yes, Remy? Uh, it's, I'm Reynolds, not Remy. That's what I said. Anyway, what is your answer? Candy makes kids happy. It's chewy and yummy and gooey and amazing. Do you even know what you're saying? 
you risk gaining your you risk gaining your teeth with those preposterous lies. If you don't remember the lesson, then don't gort out ram random gobbledygook. Okay, class. Next question: How did Grandfather White liberate three Pugians? Ooh, he gored them out with candy. Wrong. Anyone else? He farted. <laughs> Duncan, one more outburst from you and his attention. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, fine. He stole a witch talisman and used it to make the monsters do what he wanted. Yeah, like teaching this stupid brainwashing class. That's it. You and subordinates will go down the hall to detention at once. Happily. Yay, no more, uh, class. What are you doing back here? I told you to go to detention. So apparently eliminating candy and flossing uh, gives us future floaty chair technology and stuff like that. So, okay. I'll keep that in mind for later. And we can't dash. You're happily snoring away. Everyone says I drink the Kool-Aid, but I don't know what that means. I'm not really sure what that means either. Haha, <laughs> you got detention and I didn't. Duncan said fart. <laughs> so you had a ha Halley, or Haley in detention for I'm just going to say Haley. Okay, I guess it could be Holly, but I don't care. I think Bird is cheating off me. I cop it off Shandana. Don't tell. Yeah, the whole uh, tooth-themed everything here is not exactly my exact idea of awesome, but okay. Hey, it's a janitorial grubbin. Where's the attention, Mr. Grubbin? I have no idea, human child. Maybe try the detention room at the end of the hall? I like the spell of my job. I can't even whack this guy up the head with a uh, candy pail. I can't believe I got rid of a uh, Monty here. What are you doing there, Blondie? I told the teacher that I had used the bathroom, but I really just wanted to wander the halls. Yeah, I've done that once or twice as a youngin, but that was a while ago. It's locked. Okay. Let's see. Are you guys playing hide and seek as well? I'm supposed to be in detention, but I like it better out here. Yeah, it makes sense. And yeah, that's locked as well. Okay, down here, nothing. And all the lockers look like little teeth, kind of, except with braces, I guess. More troublemakers? I have a seat next to Holly. Or Holly, I guess. Face forward and don't make a peep. Hey guys, I'm Holly. What are you in for? We told the truth about Halloween. I guess that's not allowed here. Me too. I told them that the costumes are awesome. I can't help it if they are. My dad even made me a rad superhero costume once. But we had to keep it in the shed because it's illegal. Wait a minute. Is Everett your dad? Yeah, do you know him? He's our best friend. We went to school together. Quiet! Ooh, Ren and Reynold, my, mo my mom and dad won't shut up about you. They said you were going to help save us. We tried, but Dr. White took our stuff and threw us in here. And his guards took your parents away, too. Sorry, Holly. What? He got my mom and dad? We have to go save them. Ooh, and Holly joined our party. So I guess we're going to get uh, different party members in different time zones that we go to. Now, how are we going to get out of here? What is it, human child? I'm trying to update my profile. I feel sick. Can I go to the nurse? Sick, huh? Okay, I guess that's one way to make sure kids can't fake being sick. These readings show no signs of illness. You're fine. Can I try again? What is it now? Can I go use the bathroom? You'll have to wait until the bell rings, human child. But actually, you reminded me that I must go to the bathroom. I've been sitting at this computer for hours. Stay in your seats until I get back. And no talking. You know, we're only like a couple inches shorter than this guy. We can probably take him. Of course, it would help if we had our costumes. Then again, we should have just uh, beat up on uh, Dr. White with our costumes earlier. But, you know, when they tried to arrest us. When they did arrest us, actually. Now's our chance. Let's get out of here and get our costumes. 
I before I, by the way, I was putting together a costume myself. My teachers confiscated some of the materials, but they didn't confiscate this. And we got a costume design for what? Uh, let's see. Oh, Jefferson. Oh, I thought it was going to be like Daniel Boone or something like that. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, we can't put our costumes on yet. Okay, before I forget, though, let's see. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, I did get a couple achievements while I was grinding. It wasn't a lot, but I'll, I'll show you guys some before I forget. Let's see. Uh, bashed 10 Monster Patrols. There we go. So Assault and Bashery. Let's see. We got the Defeat Chronoculus. And apparently I connected over 4,000 candies for Candy, corn candy Cornucopia. So there we go. Uh, I'm not going to look at the rest of these because I'm not trying to spoil myself too much. I just wanted to show you guys that I got those trophies or achievements or whatever. Not that I really care, but, you know, it's besides the point. Now, let's see. Did they put any of these costume pieces in here? Probably not. You know, except for the whole dental utopia thing and no costumes or candy or nothing. It's pretty decent here with all the advanced technology. They got cool TVs and cool clocks and cool monitors and cool chairs and... I guess this is a desk. A powdered wig. Awesome. Cool. I was going to say, this is actually a chest, not a, a desk. But, okay, that works too. Let's see. This was the other door that we couldn't go in before. Why they have their costumes hidden away in the teacher's desks, I'm not really sure. But we got some buckle shoes there. Okay, cool. Oh, and uh, the janitor is gone. Actually, before we get too far, let me see if anybody's still in here. Yes, they are. Okay. But is there a way to get to the desk? No, there's nothing in there. So what's the point? Is there any I was going to ask if there's anything in the trophy case, but it's not letting me do anything. So, oh, well. All right, that's locked. What are you doing there, bud? Hey, do you know where they put our stuff, Mr. Grubbin? Nobody tells me nothing. All they tell me is to clean the floor. And also put costumes in the closet so no one can find them. Interesting. Do you mind if we get past you? Maybe in a little while. The floor is wet right now. Okay, I don't want to step on your uh, clean floors. That would just be dastardly of me, so let's not do that, shall we? And we get... Hey, cravat! There we go. And we got fashionist. I'm guessing that's just for unlocking more costumes. So we are... Mr. Jefferson. An eloquent forefather whose pen is mightier than any sword. Focus nuke. Declaration of Destruction. Jefferson pens a masterwork and delivers it with explosive effect. Exploration ability. Diplomacy. Where I got it. Haley gave me the pattern. The rest of the materi materials were in teacher's desks at the Tooth Academy. Diplomacy, huh? So I guess that means we can talk our way out of a rough situation here. The floors look dry now. Can we get by? Sorry. I'm about to do another coat. Just to be sure. Anything we can say that might change your mind? Nope. Well, maybe. But I don't know what that would be. I can't help notice that you're slipping over those floors, Mr. Grubbin. By the way, I used the uh, diplomacy ability here. I'll say, would you believe they want the floors clean all the time? Not to mention that I'm stuck with a first-generation hover bucket. It looks like backbreaking work. I think you owe it to yourself to take a break. You're right. Maybe I will take a break. My back muscles hurt. All right, Christopher, you go take your time doing what you got to do. Feels good to get some me time. You deserve it. And I still can't dash around. Oh, well. I was hoping that the costume would let me unlock doors, but uh, I guess I'd be asking a bit much. Okay. There's the bathroom over there. What is over here? Oh, a save point. Not that we really need it, but it's there. A pot. You know, I might as well save my game just to make sure. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. That kind of looks like Bojan. Oh, there's the uh, teacher. Principal little aliens room and for the kids what are you doing out of detention you human children are the worst we we're worried about you we just wanted to make sure you were okay what a line of hooey get back in that classroom right now this doesn't seem like the time for diplomacy no okay just wanted to check and what about you sir school is not out yet get back to your class slackers oh it is bojan okay no diplomacy for me all right let's just go get our costumes then shall we
There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Got our stuff back, and we can dash around. Beautiful. What are you doing out, kid? Whoa, did they give out costumes while I was sleeping? Eh, possibly. Hey, where'd all these kids come from? Okay, first off, let's make sure that... You are not a candy corn. Let's put you as the superhero. And then let's put this girl as the pterodactyl. There we go. Actually, let's see what the Jefferson costume does. We don't get any attack power or any health, but we get extra strength. Kind of surprised that the presidential costume is the powerhouse, but okay. I'll take it. It must be recess right now. You look weird. What is that you're wearing? My teeth are in the 99th percentile, bro. Okay, good for you, I guess. I talk about farts get last, but I know it's lazy comedy. Oh, this one's open. Oh, this, that's the one that was already open. Never mind. Um, no, none of these other ones are open. Is this guy done? No, he's still looking for the bathroom. All right, we can probably get past... Oh, he's, I was going to say, we probably get past Bill John now, but he's already out of the way, so okay, that works. Okay, everyone's on break. What are, what are you doing there, Teach? What are you doing back here? I told you to go to detention. Well, no, I'm not going to go back to detention because I don't want to. Detention is mean. And so are you. And I think we already talked to most of these kids. Yeah, they're going to confiscate, confiscate my costumes. You know what? I'll live. Let's just get out of here then, shall we? I don't think there's anything else for us to find since we can't get into that locked room right there. I'm not sure what's even going to be in there, but it could be something nice. I don't know. Going somewhere? Your behavior has been unacceptable. Look at this list of infractions. Disrupting class, skipping detention, kidnapping, stealing school property. These costumes are our property. You stole them first. And what do you mean kidnapping? I left because I wanted to leave. I'm not finished. Violating the Costume Act, manipulating our janitorial staff, and attempted escape. Trying to escape is a funny one, humans. There is no way to escape the Tooth Academy. At least, not without a proper education. You're really gonna just try to beat up some little kids? Hi, right, Jefferson. So, I did not put myself as a cost as a candy corn, you bozos. <sighs> okay. Let's see, we have... Uh, we can't use those, yeah, okay. Alright, let's see what our quill attack is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, candy corn, I'm not trying to bother with that. But I guess the extra stripe does help your defense, so good for you. Alright, uh, Bojan, you are of the monster variety. Let's see, let's go for some sweet justice here, shall we? Oh, you got a lot of HP. I wasn't even paying attention. And that was not very well timed, but okay. Gotcha, Bo John. You're no match for me. Right, let's try our cool attack again. Nice. Very nice. Yes, yeah, probably would go faster if I had my candy corn. Not candy corn. Oh well. Let's see. Again. I wonder how much our nuke attack will actually do. I like how his uh, quill does kind of look like a sword. Yeah, okay, you keep passing that candy. I like the background. It's all extra futuristic and stuff. I like it. Of course, we are in the future. Let's see. The electric wheels. They actually have advertising for candy in the back. Or something like that. Oh, do like the bowls. I thought it said quills. I'm trying to read those billboards. But why would they have advertisements for candy if, you know, they're all against candy? And they have... They even have ones for like lollipops and candy corn and stuff like that. Huh. Amazingly awesome, beautiful. Gotcha. Ah, 
Let's see how much our super duper hero does. Very nice, I like it. Alright, let's check out our decoration of destruction. They put on glasses to read their doom. That's great. I wonder if all the enemies will do that. That's awesome. Gotcha. How come Candy Corn is the only one that ever seems to actually reduce damage here? I like the little, uh, what is it, uh, can what are Candy Corn's tribes? Is it a racing tribe? No, I like the, um, the, uh, what is it? I was gonna say, I like how it looks like ink has fallen off his, uh, quill, but I think that's actually doing it for everything now that I'm noticing it. Let's make sure. No, it must have just been the quill. I thought I saw it with a superhero as well. All heroes contribute to chosen hero special mode. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. Alright, and you, oh, candy corned one, let's go ahead and put you as a superhero. There you go. Or, no, not superhero. Um, okay, you be a superhero. Uh, you be the pterodactyl. There we go. Alright, good. Alright, let's take a minute to empty the trash, even though... Okay, okay, that actually makes sense that there is, um, candy in the trash, because otherwise it would be in kids' hands, and they don't want that. Alright, I'll get that kid hiding over there in just a minute, but I want to see what else we got here. Let's see. Not a whole lot, really. There is some... Leaf piles. Why do you insist on defaulting to? Okay, I thought it. Okay, for a second I thought he was gonna default to the uh, candy corn here. Oh, that's a secret passage. Okay, cool. Uh, before we get too far, though, let's get the other kid over here. Actually, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. I didn't realize I could whack the uh, plants here. You found me. We're illegally playing, wearing costumes and playing hide and seek. Want to play? If you find all six of us, you get a prize. Okay, cool. I'm guessing they're going to be in other areas since, well, the rest of the outside is dystopia is kind of limited. So next episode, we're going to go ahead and head into the dystopian sewers and see if we can't escape this academy. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.